is going on guys? My name is T-Birds and today we are back with another video on Black Ops 3. We're going to be covering all that we have found in the trailer on multiplayer. I'm going to be breaking it down frame by frame for you guys. We're going to be covering all of it. So basically just we're going to get into weapons, equipment, score streaks, special abilities, and what just basically what I noticed about the trailer as well as the teaser on Gunsmith at the end. So without further ado, let's get into the trailer. Okay, the Black Ops 3 hype is real. Now that we've seen absolutely everything about the trailer and you guys know what I'm talking about, we're going to jump right into everything I need to say. So before we get into any of the other stuff, we're going to begin with weapons. So first of all, none are returning from old games, which may be a hit or a miss with some of you guys. I know that I always like the new ones because I get to test them out and get to kind of like experiment with everything before everybody knows all about the game. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's a great opportunity to kind of get in the swing of things uh, with everybody else. And these, all these weapons are in no particular order, and these are not confirmed in the final build of the game. They, they may take some out, they may put some more in, so we'll have to see what happens as the uh, game progresses and we move into the beta and stuff like that. So primarily we have the KRM-262, which is a pump action shotgun, the Locust, which is the bolt action sniper, the Man of War, which is a slow fire assault rifle that reminds me a lot of the Remington R5 from Call of Duty Ghosts, the MR6, which is a standard pistol like the 5.7 from Black Ops 2 and other games, the Shiva, which seems to be a semi-automatic assault rifle, the Spider, which I think is a PDW or a machine pistol, the Vesper looks definitely like an SMG, the VMP also looks like an SMG, and the Weevil actually could be an SMG or an assault rifle. So those are all the weapons that we saw in the trailer, and that is everything we have so far on weapons. Now for equipment, we have Tomahawk, the Tomahawk or the Combat Axe, which is returning from other games. The Smoke Grenade, which is definitely returning. That's a long time part of the game. We've got the C4, which is definitely returning as well. The Shock Charge, which is returning, and the Molotov, which is actually returning from World of War, so if you haven't played that, uh, that's that's what it is from. So that's all the equipment that's in the game. Now we'll move on to score streaks. There are actually surprisingly a lot of score streaks that are returning. I don't think I've like ever really remembered any score streaks return in other games except for like maybe Modern Warfare or things like that. We have a lot of returning score streaks like the Lightning Strike that is returning. The Mothership is actually a new one, uh, but that is another one as well. We've got the UAV which is returning. The HCXD which I'm not too sure about. I think. It's, it's a new score streak, but it seems like it's returning because it seems definitely like it's almost exactly like the RCXD, but maybe it's flying or something. I just briefly saw the words on the screen, so I wasn't actually able to see the score streak, as with a lot of these other score streaks. We also got the care package, which is definitely returning from other games, and that sums up our score streaks. That are, those are all the score streaks that we've seen so far, just from the trailer, so we're not sure. They're, they're definitely probably going to be more. But these are just a few of them. Like in Black Ops 2, there are many, many score streaks. So hopefully this is not the end of the list. I'm doubting that, but it could be, but probably, probably not. So we're going to move on into special abilities. These are really cool. These are basically per class. Each class gets their special ability, and they all pertain to the class. So we've got the Annihilator. Actually, also, before I get into this, I'm going to say that I have no idea what these, what these specific... Um, special abilities are from in terms of classes, but I know that they are in the game. So we've got the Annihilator, which seems to be like the Golden Gun from Destiny, which is part of the Hunter class. You've got Glitch, which you can basically travel back in time, I think three seconds. We have Gravity Spikes, which are like Exo Boost Slams, kind of, but they're on steroids. They seem like they'll do a lot more damage. We've got the Scythe, which seems to be a death machine that's built onto your arm. The Sparrow, which is an explosive bow. Hopefully the explosive tip crossbow is still coming back. That's like a staple of the Black Ops series, so hopefully that's coming back and that's not just the Sparrow, because that is exclusive for only that class. We've also got the Tempest, which seems like the Wonder Waff from Zombies, and all of these are kind of like a timed score streak sort of thing, so you're not gonna, you might get them like once or twice per match, but uh, you're not gonna like have to get a certain amount of kills for them, they're just gonna be kind of like a timed, you can think of them as like a, almost like a timed supply drop, but you're, def you're definitely gonna get them every game most likely. So now we move on to what I noticed about it and one of the things that I'm really excited about is the blood and gore which we saw in the Sparrow clip. The blood and gore was well advertised with this exploding body that just gets completely obliterated into many many pieces. You can see arms and heads and all this stuff flying all over which is really exciting to see. I really liked that in World at War. 
And one other thing that I saw is that the glitch scene, it kind of worried me a bit with how powerful it seems, but uh, hopefully it won't um, turn into something super powerful and it might just be like this clip from Advanced Warfare, which I remember from the Advanced Warfare multiplayer trailer, which also worried me a bit and it seemed almost identical that these clips were very, very similar. So I hope this is how it's going to turn out. And I know that this Advanced Warfare clip is kind of like a rarity. It doesn't happen a ton. So hopefully, and it's only in one map. So hopefully I'm right about that. And it's not going to be like an invader of just the entire game. It's going to ruin it for um, everybody who doesn't use that class. So also, we have another announcement that um, it really excites me. This is the biggest thing that I've heard so far, at least for me is that the exclusivity is now for the PS4, which means I'm going to be able to bring you guys absolutely everything in Black Ops 3 before everyone else because I have the PS4. So, you can come to my channel first and expect me to have all this gameplay, all these foot all this footage of things like um, just DLC guns and things like that. And this is also including the beta. So, I will have day one beta, like, gameplay for you guys, which I'm really excited about. I love that it's, it's for the PS4 now. And uh, it was just a great decision that they made, at least in terms of my YouTube channel and everything like that. So you guys can come to me first now for all of this new stuff that's coming that will be coming out in Black Ops 3. And finally, we're going to be talking about the gunsmith, which was teased at the end of the trailer. And it just shows that there are many, many different possibilities that you can use for these variants. You actually need to create your own variant and then add paint and stuff to it, which is really cool. So we've got um, five attachment slots, I believe, one optic slot, and a base camo. So you get all this stuff that you can add onto your weapon uh, in the Pick 13 system or Pick 10. I forget which one is going to be included, but one of those two, you get to pick these attachments put it on the gun and put it into the game and there's so much customization and you get like a certain if you say you choose like a reflex sight or something like that there are many different skins for the relax reflex sight that you can choose to put on your weapon which makes it look different i'll show you these three variants of the man of war that somebody created it's called the man of war skull and it seems like they were just kind of like playing around with the software trying everything out and then they finally put it in they implemented it and now they have this awesome gun tease which is really really exciting that's like a huge feature of black ops 3 that i'm really excited for also custom paint jobs were shown with many tools many many tools as well as 64 layers so you'll now be able to create your own custom paint job and put it on your gun along with the base camo so i'm really excited for this this is awesome we have so much new black ops information and we're going to be able to get everything for you guys so if you are not a subscriber yet i would highly encourage you to subscribe so you can see all the new black ops 3 details on my channel thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next episode